this song has just been performed by uh, the band and me, my band and myself, us lot on the stage electrically. This is what it sounds like again, um, much quieter. I mean, everything when it starts is very quiet. You know, when the Big Bang started, it was inaudible. The, for the first like eight nanoseconds of the existence of matter, uh, it was very, very quiet. And everybody who was around in the universe at the beginning, and if, if you meet some older people, they'll tell you this. Um, they leaned in very close to the, to the uh, too close, and when the, and as it got louder, the Big Bang actually deafened some people, or I could say deafened some people. Some people were deafened by the Big Bang. And you could say, well, you knew it was a bang. What were you leaning so close to that bang for that would affect your hearing? To which there's no good answer. But there's no good answer to so many things. And we won't, we won't caress a petrol pump, even if we hold our arms in a petrol pump caressing position. That's what I wanted to say. That's what David Cameron was trying to say last week. Oh, yeah. And you could see the look on his face. You know that kind of, that imploded parrot look he has sometimes. There's a character in Yellow Submarine, which yeah. is a prophetic tale that foretold the coming of the Thatcher with the blue meanies. But there's one sinister doll with a kind of oblique face, and that is actually Dave Cameron. And another thing with him is he hates it if you rub vinegar between the shoulder blades. <laughs> So this is going to be Ant Woman. Ruby's going to learn it without being on stage. Here's Jenny. We're going to play this by ourselves. I like that guy. Did you make it to the top of that other one? Did you? I'm trying. Being just can I'm trying, bud. Being just contaminates the boy. Being just contaminates the void. Did you make it to the top of the other one? Did you? I remember some years back a punky reggae park. Dream. 
amusement parks. His mother would take him, and his older sisters too, and would give him all sorts of coins and say, Sashil, you play over there, you play. And, and Sashil would learn how to navigate on those tiny little little rides that you'd see in the malls, and he'd go left, and he'd go right, and he'd go deep, and he'd go short. Ladies and gentlemen, from Glasgow, put your hands together. It's the man himself, future pilot A.
respect and confounded other men's expectations again and again with his swordsmanship. Younger, better looking comics would stare aghast as he wandered off into the night with an attractive woman, turning back, twitching and shrugging his shoulders.
top. Are you ready? Yeah. Is this thing rolling? We're right. in business. The top five films of mine are number five, Pulp Fiction. Number four, The Godfather. One. What are you going on here, isn't it? Number three, The Great Escape. Number two, Aquaman. And number one, Empire Strikes Back. And that's the five. Stick with them, kids. You won't go wrong. Yeah, I love it. I like it. It's a five. I, I think it's a sequel, it's better than the original, which I don't think I've found the two is, which a lot of people say. Anyone else want to do one? The top five, I can't see. Yeah. Top five. Oh, you know, you threw down a gauntlet, and I stepped up to the plate. Joe, top five. Number five is Lost in Translation. Yeah. Number four, Train Spotting. Uh, number three is Pulp Fiction. Number two is. Good fellas. Yeah. And number one straight. Nice. What do you like? Nice. What do you like? Lindsay? Yeah. Nice and loud. From five. Yeah. You want to have a problem with that? Hey! Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Do you want one, two, um, eight, two, yeah. Five is very popular. Four is six. Three is the one to me. Two is the Pass me uh, ten all of them, please. <laughs> <laughs> I do five? Jeez. Yeah, do you want me to... Is it really? Tell me how... Oh, He's pointing at me. <laughs> all right. He's you pointing at you there, George. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I like that. Well, you'll be lying at the whole, George. <laughs> <laughs> Number five. This is Final Tap. Great film. Good choice. Number four. Good, the bad and the ugly. Also good. Number three. Good fellas. Awesome. Number two. Less obvious choice. As good as it gets. It's Jack Nicholson. Absolutely love that film. <laughs> Number one. Plain Strains on the Veils. Very good. That's my list. It's very like very. Why, like, thank you. I wish you believe, but I had to fast forward with the airport. Yeah, I can understand that. That's the only better fast forward. Well, what's a Datsun? I'll give you my five, but not in order. G- give me five? I'll give you the <laughs> top five. Would be. Get my strikes back. I know where, I know where. Sideways. I'm a leak. The Wizard of Oz, the favourite one of our life. Yep. Uh, I'll probably throw in. <laughs> Anyone else? One by. Yeah? Oh. Close. I'm gonna come in a bit closer. You don't want everyone, Rog. Anyone who wants to? Number five, fellowship of the ring. Flash gone. Number four, all fiction. Coming in at number three. <laughs> Um, in by a strike back. Number two, Trading Places, the greatest movie of all time ever, is The Warriors. Roger, what? The Warriors. Alright, yeah. Warriors. The final one. Angerman. Angerman. Nice. Right. Anyone else? Do you want to do yours on film? No, no. No? You started this. You, you, you did, you are the originator. You're like, you are the originator. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, high Fidelity, 
Zij ja, doet niet het nou. Dat komt back dat is three rush, that's bad. Just three? That's the edit. I think the other two. Let me know when you've got two more, we'll chop it in. Okay. Anyone else? I've got a, um, I've got a top, uh, top one. Fellas Buell is there. That's good for me, man. That's it. What, just Fellas Buell is there? Yeah. Oh, you're pointing it at me, because I've got a top five. It's the only girls out there. It's got five. I'll go for... Good well, the bad and the ugly. Good fellas. Empire Strikes Bad. 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 The difference in Al Pacino from the start to the end, I think, is the key, isn't it? Excellent, isn't it? Godfather's better than Godfather 2 for me. People try to give me last two. Last two? I apologise. Return of the Jedi. I like the second one. So Return and Empire both in the top five. Didn't, didn't you have him? Oh, I didn't buy him. You'll see when you uh, remind us. I will, I'll have to watch it again. <laughs> Return of the Jedi 2. Jedi, Pulp Fiction, with me last two. High fidelity. Jedi over Empire is unusual, but it's, it's good. Yeah. Uh, Lord, Lord of the Rings, Return of the King, and uh, Scarface. Good list. Oh, my number four, the one that uh, you reminded me of, is the very first of the Star Wars films. Because spaceships are all new until that one came on, and then they had whole spaceships. Damn right, Works for me. We'll end it there. Yeah. Thank you. Another thing that upsets David Cameron is he keeps ram a lemon very forcefully into his ear while he's asleep. <laughs> I mean, I'm not suggesting that should happen. Sure. <laughs>